All right, you ladies, I'm David. This is the Best Tools Park Bikes channel. And what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of this thermostat tube, the cooling tube. It's got the thermostat in the tube on the 24 bikes, not the motocross bikes, but the trail bikes. And we're going to put the straight tube in it, and we're going to see how that changes the temperature and also the running performance. Now, I did a few runs on the dyno, some good wide open runs, and then we put our code reader. Uh, clipped it into the diagnostic port where you can click on live data and you can see what's up. And here is the temp that it showed. So 200 to 202 degrees. Great baseline. Now let's change the tube, do the same runs again, and see what happens. What you need to know about changing the tube is, of course, you'll have to take off your coolant lines. There's one that comes out here, the one that comes across here. There's a silly little plug that comes out of here for one of those little canister drain lines. That's kind of in your way. You'll want to take that out. And then you're going to use a 30 millimeter six point socket to get this thing out. And some people just grab it with pliers. That's fine too if you can get it. I haven't been able to personally get it without screwing it up. But they can. So this one's going to thread out and the new one's going to thread in. And we're going to put it back together and just run one more time. First things first, this is my mushroom shirt. I am a fun guy. People have asked me that. Yeah, I'm a fun guy. So. Coolant tube, what a nice little gain, right? Cooling that thing down 50, 15 degrees, not bad. This one's got the thermostat in it. This is the one out of the motocross bike, no thermostat. Um, they're always running harder probably on a motocross track, so they figure they're gonna get hot. They don't need it in it. This, however, and part of it is due to emissions kind of stuff. A hotter bike creates less emissions. And they probably know that a trail bike might be tooling around at much lower throttle opening, not necessarily creating the heat. And four strokes do like to have a degree of heat in them, so this kind of helps get them to temp. However, on the same bike where they put this in to get the heat on, you have an exhaust that will not let the pressure out, and all that pressure backs up in that heat, so the fan's going all the time. They're real lean, so the fan's going all the time. So, mmm. Everything's going towards a super, super hot motorcycle. Now, just replacing this tube on your stock bike to cool it down, it's, I don't think it's really gonna do a thing, honestly, because you haven't got rid of the first weak link. All that pressure's still gonna back up in the stock muffler end cap, and it's still gonna get straight up there to a real hot temperature. It's not gonna fix flame outs. It's not gonna fix your lean running conditions. Fix those other things, though, and cap or ECU reprogramming, get the reads out, get the intake tube in there, fix those three main players, get it running right, which of course will help it be extremely cool in the first place, much or much cooler. Then, if you're going to be in the summertime, the tighter stuff or whatever, get this guy out, get this guy in. I will say too, if you were just doing things, even kind of like desert racing, being out there, especially if you're out there in the summertime, um, these, every once in a while, they've stopped on people and they'll start blowing coolant all over the place and I don't really know how you fix that out of the middle of the trail. So it's not the worst idea just to cover your butt, like put in a heavy duty tube in it over a light duty tube to get this thing out, get this thing in. If it's winter time and it's freezing out, probably leave this in, but that's just my opinion. Well, thank you very much for watching. You can get this on the site and hope you have a great day. Be a fun guy.